next into the tank, a Perth inventor who's got a score to set. Hello Sharks, David Lambassa from Cleverscore. Today I'm seeking a $200,000 investment in the international growth of my business, giving you a 25% equity stake. I design, develop, manufacture and sell manual scoreboards, as you might have guessed. Most people, when you think of scoreboards, they think of those big electronic systems you see. Interestingly, 99% of all scoreboards are actually manual systems. And very nicely for me, there are thousands of makers of electronic scoreboards in the world, but very few makers of manual systems. That's, for me, a very nice niche to slot into. Some of you might remember the old painted number plate. Even as a kid, I remember thinking to myself, gee, there must be a better way to make a scoreboard. So, about 10 years ago, I invented the Clever Score module. This is the number one selling module in Australia and possibly the UK now as well. I sell them individually and I also build complete scoreboard systems with them. These systems are also the ultimate portable branding platforms. Ta -da, ta -da. And companies have been very quick to realise the permanent low cost branding opportunities on offer here with all of my systems. I'm assuming the numbers change. Are you going to show us how that... Did? We will absolutely go through this. Now, I just want to confirm something you said. It was subtle, but we didn't miss it. You said yeah. 200000 for 25% of my international business. So you're not selling equity in your existing business. Is that right? That is correct. What okay, we... we'll get into it later. Just show us the product. Excellent. What we'll do now is a freebie module for each of you to take home. Well, thanks, mate. Because everyone's a winner on the Clever Score Roadshow. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that is clever. Um, I think it's clever, hence the name Clever Score. I love, the, I love the way this worked, by the way. Really nicely changed, very crisp. See yeah. that? Even Look. a 10-year-old a ten could handle it, no yeah. problem. It's really simple. Great idea. I'd like to ask for two challenges now for the inaugural Shark Tank Basketball Shootout uh, Challenge. I'm doing it. Get the new guy up. I'm up too. Queensland versus New South Wales. No, Victoria. Victoria. OK. Mate, I'm going to press you. <laughs> Actually, she's taking her shoes off. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and how about you write your names on the scoreboard right here? Loser, L-O-S-E-R. Janine, be I've nice. Pen. Be nice. How, how's it go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Ladies first. The inaugural Shark Tank Basketball Shootout Challenge. Oh, one from one. one. I hate that. Oh, oh, gosh, what a shame! <laughs> what a shame! One to Janine, zero to Glenn. Ah! My Here daughters would love this, they're netballers. Up in the air, Glenn. Oh. Yes! Ooh. Here we go. There we have one each. Oh, there we have that it. That was very oh, professional. God. Okay. It is, now, it is now sudden death. See, so look at how quickly he's changing the score. That Very is so good. quick, isn't it? Ah! Oh, gling, gling, gling. All right. Oh, happy Gilmore. Oh. Yeah! And we have a winner. Hey, hey. Thank you. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Needed the run up. Right. So, David, tell us the numbers on your domestic business versus international so far. Okay, I, th I, th I think. And I'll get to that, I'm not avoiding the question. I consider this approach to you guys to say, you know what, my business is effectively at ground zero today. So I, you I've have been... zero sales? No, no, I have, I have sales. What am I investing in though? Because now I'm confused. So I'm investing in a zero business, a startup business, what? Uh, okay, I will try and clarify it as best as I Please. can. Because I, I think it's simple and I apologise for my... No, it's fine. Okay, so essentially, I've been selling and making those systems for the last 10 years in a manual, hand-by-hand -hand fashion, OK? So you've obviously got sales of your existing business. Talk about the Australian business or what, so we understand what the yep. sales okay. opportunities are. So my business, Clever Score, started about 10 years ago. 
So I've been attacking the Australian market quite vigorously with that clever score module, making handmade scoreboards. Sales. Sales, okay, correct, okay. So in the Australian market. What were they though? Tell us the numbers. R roughly my numbers in for CleverScore were about two hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, but as I said, I also did you sold make a profit on that two hundred thousand? My profit margins are good. My costs are you. My costs on say two hundred thousand are about seventy or eighty thousand. So I think my consider I consider my margins to be good. G'day, Dave. I'm Steve. How you doing? Thank you, Stephen. Where are you from, mate? I'm from Perth. Oh, originally nice. from Perth. Lovely. Hey, um, this is the most confusing thing about pitch to me ever. I've got no idea what I'm investing in. I've mm -hmm. got no idea what's on offer. To be honest, mate, can you simplify what yep. you're offering us in 30 seconds or less? Otherwise, I'm out. Because I'm finding your answers actually quite quite confusing and a little, a little like you're trying to avoid the question. I, I'm definitely not trying to do that, but I Then, then mate, I'm... just simplify it down, right? Simplify it down. We're investing in a company that's going to do what? Sell revolutionary scoreboards to every sport across the globe in all the markets. That's an excellent pitch. You should stick to that one in future. I will right, take now, that on board, Stephen. Now, you need 200,000 bucks for what? That would, if, if I had a shark to come on board, Steve, there would be a discussion that I would have with the shark. But I have plans. In terms, for instance, I have a very Neanderthalic website at the moment, a website with a very good backend. Right, so you're going to do some work on your website. How much yes. are you going to spend on your website? I imagine a website would probably be $20,000 or so. But depending on the kind of backend that I want to do, again, okay, that's... Okay, an imaginary website for $20,000. 180000 bucks left. What are you doing with that? A discussion that I need to have with sharks. I'm not pretending that I have all the answers. All right. Steve. Okay. So this is this is this is what you need to do, mate. When you're talking to investors again, yep. You need to have very precise answers as to what you're doing with their money. I can't work with you. I'm out. David Lembasa wants two hundred thousand dollars for twenty-five percent of his modular scoreboard business. He's already lost one shark. I can't work with you. I'm out. Will he get a bite from one of the remaining four? When you say, I want to take on the world, why are you taking out Australia? I've got retailers all around Australia. I think I've got Australia handled, OK? Right. But I, this is, in my opinion, too big for me to take it forward internationally. So I but really I invest, need expertise. If I invest in you, though, yep. I won't want you to spend any time in Australia. If my money has mm -hmm. gone into the international business, I want you to spend all of your time developing international. Janine, if that was to become an issue here, then it would be an open discussion, OK? I'm not a stubborn person. So yes, I'm you are. Because you're, you're avoiding all these questions, no, mate. This is so good, and you're losing every one of us by being crazy. I'm actually glad Steve's out, because he's missing the point. This is a fantastic product, David. So just give us one little glimpse of the future about how you're going to use our money to scale up the business. I'm all about partnerships, and ultimately, you guys would have to feel comfortable with me my products and my vision, okay? I feel I've got something big, but I don't know how to take it properly into the international market. Thank you, David, because you're admitting you're an innovator and an inventor, but you're not the business side. So you're looking for a shark who's interested in the product, can bring some business discipline. Absolutely. I think I've got a great product. I need expertise to take this forward. Will you throw the Australian business in too? You know what, if you, any of you guys were interested, then I would absolutely say, okay, you know what? We structured this, that this is the entire world, including Australia as well. The product is brilliant. I'm just going, oh, how can I, how do I you know, make a deal from, with you? But what you need is not an investor necessarily, you need a working partner. You do the inventing because you're clearly really clever at it, but you need someone with that business brain to actually do the other stuff. It's not going to be me for this one. I'm out. Thanks, Jeanette. You're an ideas guy, and it's really great to see. I love the ingenuity. I believe that you've got a great business. But what I look at is what investment in time, as well as money, am I going to need to make this flight? which makes the ask so much higher in terms of what you need to do to get the return on investment. I'm out. Thank you, Naomi. David, I'm, I'm interested. I think I can work with you because 
you're a laid-back guy, you've put your hand up and said, I'm the chief scientific officer, but the business side, yeah, I'm a little lacking, I need some guidance, but I'm happy to be a mentor. International and, and the Australian business wrapped in, and 200K for 50% of the lot. Oh, we've got so an offer. offer. That's the offer. Excellent. I'm yet to hear from Andrew. Yeah. Look, you've been bashing away 10 years, you've made yourself a living, good on, good uh -huh. on you. But when I partner with an entrepreneur, I want to be mentoring, but I don't want to run their business for them. And unfortunately, I get the feeling with you that you'd need a bit more than a couple of hours a week from me. I'm out. Good luck to you. So Glenn's reduced your valuation by half and asked you to include the Australian business. Right now, my gut's, Glenn, saying that actually, yeah, I could work with you. And working with someone is so important in a business, as Absolutely. you know, okay? But I'm just thinking to myself, I'm not comfortable giving half of my business away right now here on the Shark Tank, okay? David, if I can give you some advice. I will take all your advice, Lane. A bird in the hand. Literally, this means that as of today, your business is kickstarted. It's going. You get somebody who's grown a massive enterprise, who understands people, who understands distribution and wholesale. He knows what he's bringing. That's why he's made the play. So he's bringing dollar, but he's also bringing himself and that has value. Don't do that. Don't do, don't, don't lose this deal. Let's go, Glenn, $200,000 for one third of my business. Absolutely no. So it's 200K, 50%, and we'll throw in a, a $75,000 salary for you. What are you taking as a salary now? Less than the 75. Ah. I always go with my gut, Glenn. I want to work with you, and I, I don't know what will happen after today, OK? So something may or may not happen with you, OK? That sounds but like a no. At 50%, I'm sorry, Glenn. I want expertise, I want you on board, okay? But I can't accept 50% of my business. Thank you, David, I'm out. Okay, we're all out. I appreciate your time, guys. It's been very... David, good, good luck, luck mate. Product. This is fantastic. Good, good, good luck. Fabulous Thank you very much. Product. Feeling like maybe there's a potential opportunity there for a good deal. But you know what? I just didn't feel comfortable at giving half of my business away. It's a shame. He's going to do well. He's going to make money, but he would have made a lot more with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely.